Hello, my YouTube family. This is Dr. Lee. Welcome to another one of my videos. And today I will be doing feeding according to Prometric guidelines. I have my wonderful fraternal twin sister with me who will be assisting me. So today this video is on feeding according to Prometric guidelines. So with that, um, let me go over this documentation form. I'll try to zoom in on it. You will always have one activity of daily living skill, um, skill, one documentation skill and one mobility skill. So with the documentation skill, the nurse evaluator will give you a form and there's always a place on the side for you to sign your name. From what my students are telling me when they go in to take their state exam, that the evaluator will have you sign your name when she gives you this form. Okay, so your name will be already signed on the form and you will just need to complete this part. And I think this is their proof that you got that documentation form and that you saw it. Okay, so be very um, careful when you're doing your documentation skill that whenever the evaluator gives you this form, put it somewhere where you can see it and not forget to document your measurement. So we're doing feeding. Feeding is a measurement skill. If you don't document and say, I'm through with that skill, you will not, let me stress that again, you will not pass the skill. Documentation is a must for you to pass the skill, okay? So with that, I'm gonna go ahead on and start the skill. I'll exit out the door, come in and talk with Miss Mary, and we'll start the skill. Come in. Good morning, Miss Mary, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing great. My name is Dr. Lee, and I'm here to uh, feed you. Is that okay? Definitely. Okay, I'm gonna close your curtain to provide for privacy. I'm gonna wash my hands, go get your tray, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. So I'm going to look at the evaluator and say I wash my hands. For this skill, gloves are not required. For this skill for feeding, Gloves are not required, okay? So I'm gonna go and get my tray that will already be prepared. I'm going to get um, some hand wipes and um, a linen protector or a bib. So you know what, let me get a bib because some schools have uh, towels that they put across them as linen protectors, others have bibs. So let me show you what a bib uh, or a linen protector would look like. So that we have both over here. So this is an adult size linen protector. It just goes around the person's neck like that. And then some places that don't have the actual adult bib, but we don't wanna say bib, because bibs are used for babies, that term. Some places may use a towel to put around the person. Which, whatever is used at the site where you test that, just make sure you have some type of clothing protector for that patient. So my supplies, my tray, okay? My linen protector and hand wipes. On the tray will be some type of um, snack for the patient to eat. We use fruit cocktail here at this school. You will have a cup of water and a spoon and a fork. For this skill, it is very important also, besides the documentation, that you feed the patient with a spoon. Do not pick up this fork, pick up the spoon. Okay, now that I have everything that I need, and again, I said gloves are, are not necessary, I'm gonna go ahead on and bring the tray to the patient's bedside. You don't have to put down a uh, protector on the bedside table because that bedside table is meant for 
feeding and putting trays on. So I'm just gonna put the tray on top of the bedside table. Miss Mary, hello, I'm back. Let me put this here. I see that you're laying flat in bed. I know for safety measures, I need to raise the head of the bed up. So Miss Mary, I'm gonna go to the foot of the bed and raise the head of your bed up, okay? So that we don't want you to choke on your food. I am not going to ask the patient, is this high enough? Is this high enough? Don't do that because your partner may tell you to stop right here. In your head, you know that's not high enough. So you tell the, the uh, client, I'm raising your head up to a safe level. I'm going to be going all the way up. Just let me know if you're uncomfortable, but we're going all the way up. Okay, Miss Mary, just a little bit more. I wanna keep talking to you, a little bit more. And as high as that bed will go, this is as high as my bed will go. My patient is in Fowler's position, okay? That's what I want the patient in. Okay, Miss Mary, I'm going to put this tray in front of you. Is it okay if I put the uh, linen protector around you? Okay. All right. So, Miss Mary, we have fruit cocktail and some water. But before we get started, I want to wash your hands. If I can see one hand, your other hand. Okay, now that I have both hands clean, I'm going to get a chair and sit down beside my person. All right, looks good. Let me go ahead on and open up the um, fruit cocktail. Some facilities may use applesauce, they may use pudding, but it'll be in um, one of these little type of snack packs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead on and open this up. Okay, put it so that the person can see it. And again, you only want to use the spoon, not the fork. So Miss Mary, um, you have water and you have some peaches and pears that's in this little cup. What would you like to start off with? A pear. A pear? Okay. I'm gonna get a pear on the spoon and I'm gonna let her know what is coming to her mouth. Miss Mary, here is your pear. You wanna give the person time to swallow. Most of the time I look at their throat area and I can tell when the person has swallowed. Would you like some more fruit, Miss Mary? No. Yeah. Okay, I'm waiting for her to swallow. Miss Mary, is it okay if I put more than one piece on the spoon? Is that okay for you? Yes. Need water, Miss Mary? Yeah. Okay. So Miss Mary, you have a combination of peaches and pears, okay? Here we go. Great, you're doing a good job. Okay. Miss Mary, you still have water and peaches and pears. Which water? You would like water? Okay, Miss Mary, I have the cup of water, so here's your water. Is that good? It is. Would you like some more? No. Okay, great. Would you like some more peaches? No. Okay, are you through? I am. Okay, we're gonna go ahead on and wipe your mouth here. All right. Now, with ending up, I need to make sure that I clean my person's hands. 
And if you notice, I got a chair and I sat down as I was feeding the person. You want to be sitting while you're feeding. There will always be an extra chair in the room for you to sit um, while you're feeding your client on test day. Make sure the tray is in front of the person when you're feeding them, okay? So, Miss Mary, let me go ahead on and get your hands clean. I've already cleaned your mouth. Okay, that's one hand. Let's get the other hand. All right, great. Now I'm ready to put these things up. I don't want to forget my clothing protector that I, I put on Miss Mary. I'm going to pull this curtain back just a little bit because I want to make sure you all can see me at the sink. So my clothing protector I'm going to put into the linen hamper. My trash. I'm going to put into the garbage can. Pour out the extra water. My cup will go into the garbage can. And the fruit cocktail, the things that the person did not eat, would go into the trash. Before I put it into the trash, though, I want to look at approximately how much the person ate out of this cup. Normally, I try to tell my students, when someone is feeding you, try to at least get half of the cup. But the person eat as much as they want. You're gonna be documenting on that documentation form how much the person ate. But whatever they didn't eat goes into the trash. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. The tray, you can leave on a counter. The wipes, I'm gonna put back uh, where I got them from on the person's um, chest. My hands are clean because I washed my hands at the sink. Now I'm ready to document. And if you notice on this documentation form, it will say intake because we're taking food in. And was it a meal or a snack? I'm going to put a check mark by snack. The next area asked me to document how much the person ate. So she only took about three spoons. So I'm going to say probably about 25%. So I'm going to put a check mark by 25%. Then I have to document how much water the person took. And if I can remember right, Miss Mary only took a sip of water one time. So I'm going to document 25% with the water. My signature would have already been placed on this form because normally when the evaluator, and this is from what my students have told me, when the evaluator tells you what your documentation skill is, he or she will ask you to sign your name right here. So I'm going to sign my name. So my form is now completed. I put what I served her, a snack, the amount of the food she had, the amount of water, and my signature is on the form. This is critical. A lot of people flunk this skill because of this form. Complete the form, and wherever the evaluator is standing, I'm going to give this form to the evaluator. The evaluator will take it. I think it becomes a part of your record for a testing. Once I give that form to the evaluator, I'm going to wash my hands again. This is the third time I've washed my hands so that I can go back to Miss Mary and do my closing. Okay, so I wash my hands. Miss Mary, hi, I'm back. Hi. I wanted to give you your call light to let you know you can call me if you need me for anything. We're going to leave you sitting up because you just ate and we want to make sure that we give your food time to digest, okay? Okay. Do not put the person head down. Okay, Miss Mary, I'm gonna go ahead on and open up your curtain. Would you like a magazine or the lights on or off or TV on or anything I can yes. do for you? You're, you're good? I'm good. Okay, at that point, once I've done my closing, I'm going to say I wash my hands and look around again. Make sure you filled out the documentation form. You got everything put up. Once you're sure that everything has been done, you want to say, I wash my hands 
and I'm through with that skill. So I hope this was clear for you. This is feeding the patient according to Prometric guidelines. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please hit the, the subscribe button below. I would definitely appreciate that. That helps us to present more uh, videos according to Prometric guidelines on YouTube when you subscribe to our channel. All right, so with that, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.